Welcome back, everybody. Now, it seems every other week there's some sort of digital security concern. This time, though, it's with Microsoft. The company warning 800 million Windows 10 users they could be affected by a severe security vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Stan Prager of GoGeeks here now to help us sort it out. I'm sure a lot of people are stressing. They are. Um, on this Friday, which we should all be having a great time because it is Friday, Friday. there's a lot of people worried because um, there is a code vulnerability in uh, the Microsoft Windows op operating system, uh, Windows 10, which is the one that most people are using today, and it affects 800 million users, in case we're counting. Oh, um, my. Um, so um, basically, in, the, in geeky, in geek speak, okay, it's remote mm -hmm. code execution allows for some kind of malware to get in there, and there's an actual term they use for it. They turned it into a verb, wormable, meaning that a worm can get installed on your computer without you knowing it and can spread throughout the world and infect millions and millions of other computers. Wow. Um, so that's, that's certainly something to give you pause. Yeah. Um, if you are running Windows 10 mm -hmm. and you have automatic updates enabled, you really don't need to worry because it should automatically, the patch that's available for Microsoft should install. Microsoft's telling people to go to the Microsoft website, download the patch. You don't need to do that if you're running Windows 10 and you have automatic updates installed. Oh, okay. But if you want to be sure, and I always recommend being sure mm -hmm. in this digital world, go to uh, uh, settings on the computer. You can just type settings. It's up on the screen right now. Yep. And uh, you're going to see where it says update, security and update. Okay? You're going to go to that screen, and there's a button that you can press that says click check for updates. Click that button, and if there's any updates, they'll install if okay. there aren't, if it says you're up to date, and that's a screenshot from my own computer because I am up to date. You're up to date. At least Good I try you. to be. I try to live in this world. Not I think that you do a great job, Stan. Well, thank you. I yeah. try. So, but they, that's the key, all right? If you're running older versions of Windows, it does affect some other versions of Windows as well. If you're running Windows 7, you should probably go to Microsoft and look for the patch. Um, if you're running Windows 7, though, a reminder, Windows 7, the clock is ticking. January 1st, Windows 7 will no longer be supported. There will be no updates. So oh. if you have Windows 7 on your computer, get with a computer professional like us at GoGeeks. Find out, can I upgrade it, or do I need to replace the computer? This is in, this up. is fascinating to me. And uh, my only experience with worms is literally dropping a line and going fishing stands. So I'm curious, when you say impacted or infected, what it could is like my identity getting stolen here mm. if I'm one of those folks? Good well, you question. actually mm. could be placed in an environment where you're more likely for identity theft. And that's what most malware does. At GoGeeks, we get computers all the time from people who say, well, it's running a little slow. I think my wife has too much music on there. Or my daughter mm -hmm. put too much pictures on there, whatever, which is just wrong. That does, will not slow your computer down. But this is what they believe. This is like the self self-treatment, self-diagnosis, right? We look at it, it's very badly infected. All kinds of different malware and viruses can get on your system. Some are worse than others. Mm -hmm. In a case like this, a worm gets on there, it can upload your personal information, it can lead to identity theft. And that's no good. Bottom line, when in doubt, call an expert. Similar here to Stan Prager of GoGeek. Thank Stan, you, Stan, thanks very much for coming in, informing the people. 800 million folks could be impacted by this. That's absolutely correct, but if you do what I suggested, you won't be one of them. Don't All be right, one of them. We like there that. it is.